Okay, let's see which one of the impurities among entropy and genie impurity is more efficient. In the previous videos, we have seen that the values of entropy lie between 0 and 1, whereas the values of genie impurity lie between 0 and 0 0.5. We have also seen the formulations for both entropy and also for the genie impurity. Now, if we need to think about the efficiency of these two impurity measures, uh, let's first discuss in terms of computing power. So let's think about the efficiency in terms of computing power. Which one of these impurities is more efficient for computing? In other terms, which one of these impurities takes less time to compute? So the answer is Gini impurity is more efficient because Gini impurity takes less time to compute. Uh, one of the reasons being entropy involves the logarithmic computation. So logarithmic computation usually takes more time. So because of this logarithmic computation, entropy calculation takes more time than Gini impurity. So in terms of computing power, Gini impurity is more efficient than entropy. Now, similarly, if we think about the efficiency in terms of performance, so then uh, we usually don't see much difference in the performances. Uh, I even looked at uh, different blocks that are trying to compare both entropy and Gini impurity in terms of the model performance. But what I found out is that uh, in most of those blocks, I have never seen that uh, entropy or, or Gini impurity, uh, one of these is significantly outperforming the other. So in terms of performance, uh, pretty much I see that uh, both entropy and Gini impurity are resulting in the similar performance. But in terms of computing power, I see that Gini impurity is performing, uh, you know, better than entropy in terms of computing power. Okay. Thank you.